extending from the north to the south and dividing the high and rocky mountains of Hindukush and Karakoram range, the Ishkoman Valley runs into the Valley of Gilgit. Incorporated into Pakistan in 1972, the valley is known as the hub of glaciers and trekking routes. It is situated 100 kilometers away from Gilgit and has 20 villages with almost 30,000 inhabitants. Hospitality of Ishkomen was overwhelming. The breakfast was splendid and a true reflection of our host's love and generosity. To our surprise, we were taken to a special place. A famous story of Ishkomen hails from this particular room. About a century ago, the prince of Dain fell in love with the princess of Hunza. And after getting married, both did a lot of unconventional activities together. They went for hunting and used to go to the river for swimming and fishing. Unfortunately, their tale didn't last much longer. And it was only after two years that the princess died and the prince left the village. Dain is a place which is 4,000 years old, known as a land of love. This place was inhabited earlier than most of the areas in the region. You can see full light clouds, rocky mountains, glaciers, and blossom at its peak. So I would advise everyone to visit this heavenly, beautiful place, which can hardly be witnessed anywhere around the world. Not referring to the sound of it, but Ishkomen truly has something to do with Ishk. And one must come and fall in love. In Buddhism, cherry blossom represents the impermanent nature of life. And it is said that misfortune will come to anyone who cuts down or otherwise mistreats one of these trees. It's been an attraction for centuries and can attract more tourists in future. We're going to show you something that has never been seen before. There's a mythical tale of a woman who lives inside who gets possessed by a fairy. That fairy visits this lady and talks to the visitors through her. It is believed that this fairy tells the people about their past and predicts about their future. Let's go inside and find out. They believe the lady is possessed. However, we can't say for sure, but there was definitely something strange about her. I'm going to be proposing with us because we need 
आपको आने वाले वक्त पे आपकी जबरदस्त है आपको कोई परेशानी आगे आपकी लाइफ बड़ी जबरदस्त है पीछे भी बड़ी अच्छी थी आपकी बचपन The pure and natural traditional foods of Gilgit Baldistan are very diverse and extremely rich in taste. It is this healthy diet that is the secret behind the long lives of the people in this region. The purity is very evident here in everything from the food to the air. These people are so hospitable that it's hard to find such generous people commonly. There's food being cooked here in the kitchen on the woods. The women of the house are so generous and so polite and busy taking care of the household and children. They also cook customary food which is so different and amazing. It feels great to be here. We tasted durian, chapati and guli which were overwhelmed with traditional flavors. A beautiful cottage at the feet of the mountains surrounded by so much gorgeousness the trees the clouds the fields and the flowing water all belong to some unreal place culture and traditions of Gizer we came across a group of local musicians the customary melody composition and harmony were perfectly aligned and created a mystic trance the folk music was so soothing and calming and entirely different from the modern day music the host along with the performers danced when the songs gained pace People from the audience also joined them later on as there was so much fun going on. Traditional dance is slow and conventional and the area is famous for its folklore music. Given the rise of tourism, it is imperative to have sustainable solutions to empower local communities while building local capacities. offering market link long term solutions eco tourism promotes greater understanding and appreciation for nature local society and culture sports tourism refers to traveling in order to observe or participate in a sporting event it is one of the fastest growing sectors of the tourism market with more people willing to travel and see these events Pakistan's biggest polo festival happens in Shandur every year but we were lucky to attend a polo game in Yasin Valley. Gilgit and Chitral are famous for freestyle polo with minimum rules. Some have it that the sport emerged from Iran. However, some traditions refer to Central Asia as the originator of the sport. However, it were Britishers who spread this sport to a greater extent here. In freestyle polo there is no referee and the players are allowed to even push and hit each other's stick that makes this game very thrilling and a great fun to watch We are here today to watch a polo match in the beautiful valley of Yasin which is another kingdom of Gizer Now the other fascinating thing about this place it is surrounded by beautiful rainbow mountains which you can get right here in the heart of Pakistan. Now you don't have to go far and wide and pay lots of money to go and see it in Peru. You can get it right here in Gizer.
गिजर की शान लालिक जान हेलिंग फ्रॉम गिजर लालिक जान शहीद इज द ओनली रेसिपियंट ऑफ निशान हैदर फ्रॉम गिलगत बल्तिस्तान हवलदार लालिक जान शहीद गिलगत बल्तिस्तान की पहली और वाद हस्ती हैं जिन्हें उनकी ग्रां कदर खदमात पर निशान हैदर से नवाजा गया ये मुमकिन ही नहीं था कि हम गिजर आते और उनके गाँव हंदूर यासीन आकर उनको खराज तहसीन पेश करने का शर्फ हासिल ना करते